Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to look for some property in Costa Rica, how to get an idea of what things should cost, how to compare them, and how to compare this, these houses, we're going to look for houses with pools, to something you could build by yourself. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of that comparison. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to start with the map of Tamarindo. I'm going to share the screen here. And the reason I'm choosing Tamarindo because it's a good um, place in the middle, in between uh, the most expensive and, uh, and the cheapest. It's somewhere in the middle. Okay? So this is a map of Tamarindo. I'll just put it in Google Maps, Tamarindo. And as you know, I'm working on a development uh, nearby in Playa Lagarto. So you can see I'm, we're all in the area. I'm down here, Bernardo, right? <clears throat> so Tamarindo itself, it's 27 degrees right now in Tamarindo, 6.03 p.m., two-hour difference at the moment. And Tamarindo is a small town that grew a lot into kind of a, like, like a fun tourist town where people come and have a great time. And throughout the years, it became more and more expensive now. Tamarindo is not as expensive as, say, uh, Nusara. Nusara is very, very expensive. Uh, so Tamarindo is somewhere in the middle. And because Tamarindo is somewhere in the middle, a lot of people uh, prefer to go to Tamarindo. Um, the other thing, of course, it's on the Pacific Ocean, and it's close to the airport, uh, to Lib Liberia Airport, or Liberia Airport. So I'll show you. Um, this is Tamarindo, and we'll go directions. Beria Airport, which is called Danier Odubur. There you go. It's an hour and a half. And and it's only 67 kilometers, but, you know, it's Costa Rican roads, and it kind of goes around and around. But that, that's not far. Um, if you wanted to check uh, Nosara, which is also in Guanacaste, it's three, it add another two hours, okay? And then bumpy road at the end so we we are going with tamarindo now <clears throat> I've, I've made some videos here uh regarding real estate and things to sell so take a look there's some actual prices and everything but the first thing to do is go to good old remax <clears throat> you basically just go to google and tap tamarindo real estate and take a look at the few things here and we're going to compare three different sites and then we're going to compare how much to build uh for yourself by yourself okay so now you can get real estate here for a million plus US, even two, three, four million. We're gonna look at house with a pool around a half a million US dollars will we'll come to about 650 to 700,000 Canadian, which is, which is a lot um, to us in Canada. Maybe half a million US is a little less for Americans, but here the enclave, Playa Avelama. So this is not right in Tamarindo, just outside of it. So the price would drop. If you're right in the town, price would be very high. You know, very, very high. But if you're just outside of it, price drops, more reasonable. So this is 400,000 USD. So that's about... Uh, <clears throat> add Let's look at this one. This is 575. So that's a cute house with a pool, and that's that's six hundred, almost six hundred thousand uh, USD. Building size two seventy eight, two seventy eight uh, for six seventy five. So over double. So uh, if you get, I don't know if you could see my calculator here, but here's the calculator, and it's five seventy five zero 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 divided by two seven eight. And you get $2,068 a foot US, $2,068. So this property is 2000 it, It's nice, but it's it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for the footage, okay? So you could build a house like this. It's probably $1,300, $1,300, $1,500 a foot in Costa Rica. And you have to add the land. So <clears throat> that's what, but still, um, I, th I think you probably save $200,000, give or take. Um, now, not everyone wants to do it. Some people just want to, hey, this is a great house. That's that's okay. That's my budget. Sure. But if you wanted to design something of your own and you have the land, 
you can do that. And land, you can find uh, good land in Costa Rica, all kinds of land. Um, this here is a three bed, three room, uh, half a million dollars. Okay. And and so some of them are millions, obviously. Um, but a lot of them here's 775. That's USD. That's USD. <clears throat> Okay, so you run on top of your neighbor and you paid a million Canadian dollars. Not not my cup of tea, but maybe maybe good for you. Now let's look at uh, one more here uh, that I've had before. That's a cheapo one, a cute little thing. You know, sometimes the cute ones are good, but <clears throat> 419 um, for 140 uh, square meters you could probably build this for 250 maybe with the land okay so uh, i'll show you quickly this is a uh, pile garto so we're just south of tamarindo here okay and and i'll show you some houses and here and if you've watched my other videos you could get land here for something like 50 to 80 50 to 100,000 so you can get an acre and a quarter and build something on it, uh, or you can get a smaller lot. These are basically people just carve just enough to put a house on, uh, but they own a lot of land. Okay, this is a very large development. Um, these villas here go for about 150 USD. Those are Airbnb investment villas, so you can live in them. You can put them on, on a rental pool. And here are various houses that people built, and I have some on my channel, so people build themselves whatever they wanted. And you're pretty close to the ocean, you're just a mile from the ocean, and you ride by the town. And also um, some of these houses are, are on Airbnb, as you can see. Okay, so I will show you now. Uh, I'll go through some houses and show you price for houses. So um, this is a small villa, and you can build this for 85 plus some expenses. This is USD. Okay. And you can get yourself a small piece of land for about 50 USD. And uh, you've done $140,000, $150,000, and you got the whole thing brand new. Here are the plans. Um, this is called the Beach Hut. It's 829 square feet. It's from 103000 And, you know, there'll be some expenses. The pool is not included, the furniture and the appliances. But nonetheless, you can see that. Um, <clears throat> and the Venado, that's a really cute one. 915 square feet from about 115. So say, <clears throat> let's say 130, 140 completed with the pool and landscaping. Maybe 150 with the furniture and appliances. That's still really nice. That's very good value. Okay, and then you're going to add the land to it, but the land, especially in Palo Garto, not, not expensive. Um, this is a picture of a real home that someone built. It's called Natural Sense. And, you know, there's on and on. There's the Ocean Pacifico. And you can build this thing called the Liberty, 13, uh, 1,400 square feet uh, from 173. So say 200 with the pool, give or take. <clears throat> All kinds of kind of like a little village thing with a, with a on top situation. And a, a larger unit, so that could be a good Airbnb. Or even a larger unit, the Fortuna, 2,400 square feet. That's a really gorgeous one. I believe this one uh, was built too, <clears throat> or even more. Okay, so that's that, my friends. What I suggest you do next is uh, go to my channel, YouTube, Yossi you Kaplan, and uh, watch some of the videos that I have. And I put a lot of videos about Costa Rica with prices. Um, especially this one here, affordable Costa Rica lots in a gated community. That one will have some prices and more information. Thank you very much for today. I'll see you in the next video.